This is a word to many Americans that have been talking about Coney and people's hypocrisy about how people are only do feeling that Coney is important and these kind of things is important now that they become mainstream. They didn't care about these things beforehand. I just have one thing to say, and please take no offense to this, but it's kind of hypocritical for you and many Americans to try to clean everybody else's houses when your own houses are dirty. What do I mean by this? You have Americans that want to go help feed the poor in other countries. They're spending money. They're, they're funding children. They're helping children in other countries, especially Africa, which is good. But they won't give five bucks, ten bucks to help people in their own cities, people that are poor, people that are welfare, people that don't have homes. You know, many Americans are against welfare, against helping people that are poor that can't get jobs or for whatever reason. They want to get stop the taxes, get stop all these things. You're willing to help people in other countries, but you turn a blind eye to the people in your own countries. How can you help fix the world when you can't even fix your own country? When your own country is falling apart, how can you expect to help other people? You know, you have to start at home. And if you can, do both. But saving the world doesn't help if your own nation is falling apart at the seams at the same time. You know, we look at crimes and... and Muslim countries in Africa, where there's corruption in governments, corruption in military, corruption in police forces. You know, we deal, we talk about Sharia law over there and how har har horrible it is over there. We talk about it when it occasionally comes over here. But we don't talk about the same things that are happening by people in their own countries, whether Christian or whatever. They're just as making just as bad laws that are similar to Sharia in some ways. You know? Look at your own country. Look at what's wrong there. If you want to help the planet, help your country. You're gonna help you can help the people in Africa far more by helping your own country. Now this is just sound counterintuitive. And maybe I'm wrong, somebody can help me on this. But what I mean here is, if you help your own country, there'll be more money to give to charities if more people in your country can afford living. If more people aren't under the poverty line. There are more people that aren't homeless. The more people that have money in the United States, the more people that can give money to charities. The more people that can help produce stuff and make money and maybe find ways to help the world. These things are important. You know, you can't just fix the world's problems and expect your own country to get better. You know, look at what's happening with all the laws that are going into effect, whether religious laws that are inhibiting freedom or laws that are attacking the middle class and weakening them, or attacking the poor, or even attacking the science. You know, yes, there's a lot of rumbling about that, but we need to focus on what's going on in our own countries first. You know, and at least focus more on there. Help other countries too. And yes, Helping starving children and children in Africa is important, you know. But a lot of the problems in Africa and these countries are stuff that sending more food, sending more money isn't going to help because of the corruptions in the government, you know. Look at all the stuff that goes to Korea and it's just taken up by Kim Jong. Or in African countries where you've got the corrupt governments taking most of the supplies meant for the poor people. You know. You know, we have to find real solutions. Real ways to help. And one of the best ways is to lead by example. 
you know, it's kind of frustrating at times when, you know, Americans are quick to criticize other countries and other governments for the corruption. When the countries are doing the exact same thing. Look at Occupy. Look at Obama attacking countries for attacking the Arab Springs. When it was just as bad, or almost as bad, happening with Occupy. People being attacked by police. Protests being shut down forcibly and illegally. With illegal weapons. Over and over and over again. No, where's the outcry by the president? Where's the outcry by the majority of Americans there, outside of those that support Occupy? No, even if you don't support Occupy, you should support people against the tyranny of your own governments. No, I hear people criticize. You know. Americans and people for not not seeing the, the problems around the world, which is fine. But also criticize people for not seeing and fixing the problems in your own country. No, you can't save the world when you can't save yourselves. No, and here's a little fact: people need to stand on their own two feet. If you help everyone all the time you know if you're there to support you know they'll never get there on their own way and yes it's sort of bit you know it's ironic that you know people you know <clears throat> people on welfare don't get enough support and yet people around the world get too much support you know people are going to learn by finding what works and what doesn't work. Help if things are bad. Help you know, give support. Give ways to help countries get the infrastructure going. Don't give them all the money. You know, it's like the old saying, you know, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, you feed him for life. That sort of thing. No. Welfare gets abused, yes. But the proper use of welfare is a way to help someone get on their feet. This is what it should be. You know, this is what it should be around the world. You know, not helping starving Africans by giving them all the food they need. If that's the only thing we can do, then that's what we have to do. But we should also look into ways of helping, you know, get them to be able to be self-sufficient to get their own food, you know, if it's possible. You know, I don't know. There's so many problems in Africa because you got the corrupt governments, you got droughts, and it's not always that simple. And I realize that, and sometimes maybe we have to get food just to help them. But we should look into solutions if they are available inside the United States and outside. I'm sorry if it's a rambling and I'm going to lose. I don't know if any solves my thing this bit harsh. I just, it's been frustrating me this last couple of weeks with the issues with Coney and the response to Coney. You know. Saving, dicta saving the world from dictators is good, but where do you stop? You know. Are you going to invade every single country that's worse than Iraq. You know, Saddam was horrible, but there's many countries far worse than, than Iraq. Are you going to invade all of them just to save every single person in the world? How's that going to help the world? Because look at Iraq and Afghanistan. The instant you leave, you haven't changed anything because the countries weren't ready for the change. You forced change that wasn't wanted or ready for. I don't know. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know your thoughts. I'd like to hear your ideas on this.